Yay! You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? <laughs> Who's this? Quarian? Shut up and I'll tell you. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Please, continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Something Is that true? Mechanism. How did you manage to preserve memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data well, that's can convenient. be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was. What is the conduit? Time. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods. The pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The council is just going to... They need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. You could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay. Well... We'll stick with Rex, and we may as well add Tally in for good measure. Because why not? Um, let's change our equipment up a bit. Or not. Be more powerful? Yep, that one's more powerful. Uh, that one. And that one. Scimitar. Edge. Uh. Tally. <coughs> Good. 
Click. Just a bunch of stuff. Can Journal Okay. Ah, level up. Shovel leaves into a timidate. But I'm not going to stay. Listen. Whoa, Rex has got a lot of stuff. We'll listen to Crimson Battle Monster. Give him more health. And level up his use for himself air books. Tally, go for pistols. Basic armor to help with her health. And there we go. Alright, may as well go do the stuff with the council and then end this part. Let's go there then. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your okay. time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but what I have nowhere it? else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife we'll to be returned this to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Of course, my friend. We will see to this. Possibly. Maybe. If you're lucky. What's in here? Shepard, what can I do for you now? No. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. My goodness, yeah. you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there Stop stealing corpses! You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nurali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nurali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. This isn't right. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must Not go to this protect far. humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll Good go boy! To it myself. You gotta do that. Alright. Oh, that's why that flag uh, said, because I thought... Okay. Thought that had something to do with side mission or something. Well, may as well end this side mission. Hello, friend.
Hello again, Commander. She's coming. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin Yay. my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. And you, my friend. And you. See you later. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Pacillion then. Citadel Tower. And with that, we shall do this bit, expose certain thing, and then we shall end this part. Yep. Seems like a good place to end it. Who thinks? So let's go do that. And run! Once the order save is done. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Oh, that way. Go, that's good. Okay. Come on. Udina's presenting the Clarion's What's that? Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch ah. Matriarchs are powerful assassins who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides <coughs> and mentors to my people. Yep. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful it. biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth revere them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit it's is? It's trouble. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found... Don't be a fool! I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the I've Geth seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human so colonies. you will do nothing. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the It's the best factors. solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human specter. Everybody's happy.
Commander Shepard. Okay. Step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Inspectors are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Inspectors are an idea, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your Thank you. species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to any needs? or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Office. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Okay. Right. Well, that's that done. So we are now a spectre. Um, so yeah. I shall end this part here. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Favorite this video. Share it. You know, get more views. And subscribe. Thank you for watching. Farewell, people of the internet.